Ajax, the British Army's new generation of armored fighting vehicles, has been tested in cold weather conditions in Sweden. Service personnel from the Household Cavalry Regiment, HCR, based in Bulford, Wiltshire, have successfully demonstrated the Ajax platform's ability to operate in extreme cold weather and fire accurately while moving. Tests were conducted in the harsh, wintry conditions of frozen Lapland, where temperatures regularly dropped to minus 30 degrees Celsius. Major Robert Gardner, Ajax Trials and Capability Development, stated, We were hoping to demonstrate that Ajax works as well in these conditions as it does in a temperate climate, allowing it to be deployed all over the world. The live crew clearance showed that the turret is safe to use, and also demonstrated we lost no lethality or effectiveness whilst operating at extremely low temperatures. During the overseas tests, the HCR soldiers from the regiment's armored reconnaissance unit made history as the first field army crew to fire the Ajax both at home and abroad. These trials are a continuation from those that took place recently in the UK, said Major Gardner. The tests have advanced from crews that have not fired the vehicle, to static versus static, firing approximately 120 rounds, moving on to static versus moving, and then finally proving moving versus static whilst out here on the range in tame. Firing on the move has been extremely successful. It has also demonstrated the progression from no firing to increasing crew confidence and enabling them to perform those tasks. For Lance Corporal Alex McDonald, an Ajax gunner, this is his first opportunity to get hands-on experience, as his previous training was primarily on simulators. He stated, being one of only a few people to fire this in the army is pretty good. It's been fantastic, one of the best things I've done in my career, and my training paid off, giving me confidence in the turret. We arrived in Swedish Lapland to temperatures of minus 38 C, which was a bit of a shock, but the heating inside these vehicles kept us warm once we got to work. This climate obviously has its own problems, he continued, but the weapon systems have performed better than we expected. There were a few teething problems, as we expected with a new vehicle, but overall, it has been positive, with some extremely valuable feedback. The next challenge is to learn to use the vehicle more, it will only improve as we improve. Working in the subarctic was difficult for both man and machine, as driver trooper Ruben Burt, who has worked on the vehicle for five months, explained. Doing a maintenance job, especially getting under them, and laying in the snow was pretty rough. We discovered that the rubber track pads are ineffective on snow, causing sliding and drifting, but it's all about pushing the vehicles to their limits. It feels more modern than the Warrior Infantry fighting vehicle. My troop leader described it as, going from analog to digital or driving a sports car with a manual gearbox to driving a new Ferrari racing car. The engine just feels better underneath you, the steering handles better, it's a bit bigger, but, it's been a pretty capable vehicle. This cold weather trial has provided an excellent opportunity for the Army to really get to know Ajax and test and understand its capabilities. The combat vehicle's mobility over difficult terrain, as well as its high level of protection, intelligence, surveillance, target acquisition, and reconnaissance ISTAR, will provide a world-class competitive advantage.
Major Robert Gardner concluded that, over the trial, Ajax demonstrated itself to be very effective in this environment, saying, we've seen no drop in its effectiveness compared to those in the UK, which is really positive. And now that we've proven it in the cold, the next step is to prove it in the hot weather this summer, at which point it will be essentially proven and deployable in all situations. Ajax is a complete and utter step change, compared to a combat vehicle reconnaissance, tracked, CVRT. Both mobility, lethality and also its I-Star capabilities are far beyond what we have had previously. The Ajax family is intended to be at the heart of the British Army's future armored fleet, providing increased lethality, survivability, reliability, mobility, and all-weather intelligence, surveillance, target acquisition, and reconnaissance capabilities via its advanced sensor suite. Ajax is currently in the demonstration and manufacturing phases of its life cycle. The Army has been conducting training on early Ajax vehicles in both operational units and training facilities, and reliability growth trials are going well. The field army will receive operationally deployable platforms throughout 2024, with the Household Cavalry Regiment becoming the first army unit to adopt Ajax technology. Ajax is the first British vehicle to be outfitted with the Case Telescoped 40mm cannon, which was developed jointly by the United Kingdom and France. It will have a 7.62mm L94 chain gun mounted coaxially in a two-man turret with dual-axis stabilization. Cased telescopic ammunition differs from conventional ammunition in that the projectile is telescoped within the cartridge case, surrounded by propellant, saving space while increasing lethality. The cannon can fire a variety of ammunition types, including high-explosive, armor-piercing, and training rounds. All non-turreted variants include a remote weapon station that can mount a 7.62mm general-purpose machine gun, a 12.7mm heavy machine gun, or a 40mm grenade machine gun. The Ajax training systems will represent a significant shift in how the British Army conducts training in comparison to previous platforms, as they will use immersive simulation to supplement traditional training. The progression takes an individual from a basic desktop trainer to a series of incremental developments such as full motion driver simulators, similar to aircraft simulators, with full hydraulic motion, gunnery simulators, maintainer simulators, and crew turret trainers that are usable anywhere in the world. 